Hey everyone, Matt Pisarsik from RazorEmporium.com. Today, to do a little shootout, a little showdown between Badger and Boar shaving brushes. What's the difference? What's it all about? Who's gonna win the challenge? Let's find out. Okay, well, in today's video, we're gonna be doing things a little bit differently since we're shooting out two different styles of brush. So I'm gonna get loaded up with my razor blade here. Now for today's razor, I am using a classic that I have a lot of experience using because I have one in my bathroom, and that's the Edwin Jagger DE, I think it's 14 3D or 3D 14, DE 3D 14 BL, which is basically the laser um, knurled longer handle version of the DE89. The uh, only difference is the handle, the head's your standard DE89. This is the one I have in my bathroom, so I thought I would use it for today to kind of hold that constant, ironically. Now for our soap, we're gonna grab something that's actually people talk about that's really hard to lather and is a challenge, which is Mitchell's Wool Fat. We, I don't think we've done a video with Mitchell's before. I have a lot of experience using this product. I've used it for years in the past. Haven't used it recently, but I, I think in the first couple years of wet shaving, I did a lot of it. Now for the showdown, I wanna talk about the difference between lathering with a uh, badger brush and war brush. People always say, oh, one's easier, one's harder. And also we're gonna use a harder soap. I don't know why people say Mitchell's is hard to lather. You can see I just added a little bit of water and I'm just scrubbing my brush on the top and lo and behold, we've got lots of lather. So I'm gonna lather one side of my face with a badger brush. and one side with the boar brush. So with any kind of brush, obviously the ratio of cream to, or, or soap to, uh, to water ratio is really important. And I'm, I am noticing that the Mitchell's does, it's a thirsty soap. Stay thirsty, my friends. That should be Mitchell's motto, because it likes water. So maybe that's why people say it's hard to lather, just because it wants a lot of hydration. But I love Mitchell's because it has lanolin, which is sheep's fat. It's been made since 1893. Originally started out as something for uh, shepherds who had their hands, you know, being out in the elements all day, you know, pulling on uh, ropes or harnesses for animals, whatever, you know, working with tools, hand tools to really kind of help their hands. But now it's, it's a great product for your face too. It helps your skin in general. So now we're gonna use a bore brush and it's a lot stiffer of a shaft here. So it's much more kind of scrubby. I had to put a lot more force to get this guy to uh, kind of want to start bending down a little bit and getting the lather kind of built up inside. I'm gonna scrub it uh, quite a bit more before I go to my face. And wow, the feeling is very different. Now Badger's soft on your skin, and um, this is definitely more scrubby, exfoliating. And I'm, an, I'm I am, and boar brushes are also, are they need more water. So I am having a, a soap that needs a lot of water and a brush that wants a lot of water. But as you can see, I'm having no problem Generating the leather. Wow, that actually feels really good. Now let's, um, for comparison's sake, I'm gonna quickly just refresh a little bit of water in here. This one's pretty wet. <laughs> We're gonna go double brush. Double brush all the way, people. Left and right hand. Actually, you're seeing yeah, that's nice and smoothed out. They both produced a nice lather. If I took a sample from one side of my face, this little clump here and this little clump here, the actual consistency is also pretty similar. It's got that nice kind of cool whip, got little peaks going on. That's the consistency we're going for. So in terms of performance, you saw, I got a you know, expensive Simpsons Berkeley brush over here. 
that's, I don't know, probably $50 or $60. I don't know off the top of my head how much that is. But, um, and I got a $10 bore brush. So big difference in price, but I got the same lather. So it's kind of one of the messages today is they're all going to make a lather for you. That's one thing we tell people. It's not like one makes a bad lather and one makes a good lather. They have different qualities. The Badger brush probably will make more lather. It'll retain more lather. If you're someone who does multiple shave passes, that could be a good thing, maybe. If you want more of that soft feel, certainly Badger is going to be softer than, than Boar. However, if you're someone who has an issue with ingrown hairs, or curly hair, um, or you just really like that exfoliating kind of scrubby feel, really invigorating, I think Boar is a great choice. And it, it makes a lather faster. You saw how fast that whipped that up. I'm just passing through my shave here. Going pretty steady. I've had a lot of experience with the DE89. Got a Paul Silver blade loaded up. I always tell people it's the Goldilocks of razors. If you can't get a good shave with a DE89, of course, granted with a blade that's fit for your skin, um, something's wrong because it's an easy shaver. It's not too mild, not too aggressive. That's why I call it Goldilocks. It's right in the middle. I actually was in Las Vegas years ago working with Neil Jagger, the owner, at a trade show. And he handed me a DE89 with this new neural grip. Uh, it was hot off the press. It was a brand new product. I was very honored to have one of the first of them ever produced. And it still graces my bathroom today. It's a great travel razor. But yeah, in terms of Badger vs. Boar, A lot of it's your experience using it. Um, do you want that soft feel? Do you want more of the scrubby feel? Maybe next time we'll do a shootout with synthetic because that's really another big popular one today. And I do have a little bit of irritation on my neck. It's not from today's shave. I was telling our producer earlier I have to do so many different review videos, so many different products. I don't always have the luxury of using the products that my face loves. And while they may feel fine at the time, sometimes later, a day or two later, I'll have an ingrown hair or a little irritation from some product we reviewed here. If I had my druthers, I know it's, it's gonna sound the antithesis of a lot of you guys out there who like all the variety of wet shaving, I got into wet shaving for the opposite reason. I got in because I had trouble shaving with other kinds of, you know, cartridge razors or whatever. And so double edge really solved a lot of those. But even that being said, it's the right combination. And it's not just the razor and the blade, which for me is, you know, medium to mild um, razor, but um, also the blades, you know, I like kind of more of an aggressive blade. Um, you know, like Paul Silver, Persona, Gillette Platinum, stuff like that. But also the products. And um, I like products that have a lot of cush to them, a lot of cushion, a lot of um, glycerin, a lot of slickness, or else my skin just does not like it. So the Mitchells did great. Um, this is a product that's great for my skin. So hopefully some of this lanolin uh, will have some healing properties for my face. And... Um, I'll have a good result here in a couple days. And the other product I haven't used, I used a different balm 
the last two or three times. Um, I haven't used the Parasso in a while. And I love the feel of alcohol or menthol, all that kind of stuff. It feels so great, but my skin just does not like it long term. I can get away with it one or two times here or there, but not for my daily driver. Honestly, the Parasso or the, um, oh, the Trumper skin food is also another one of my favorites. Sometimes I even do a little hack and I mix them together. A little, little that skin food, a little bit of the Parasso white together. Well, this was a quick video. Did my shave in just a few minutes here. Um, again, Badger versus Boar, there are reasons to use either one. Um, if you don't have any skin issues and you just want the softest thing out there, you know, look at Badger, maybe you can also look at Synthetic. Um, if you do have some shaving issues, you're, you know, again, you are maybe prone to ingrown hairs or irritation, the Boar is great. The other thing it does is this is a brand new brush, but these little hairs are kind of hooked like this. You'll see they kind of have a little bit of a curl to them. After you use it for a while, they'll actually, each one will split from one curl into two like this, and you actually double your surface area. It becomes softer to the feel, but this stiff shaft of the boar hair brush and those little hooks do a great job of helping to dig out ingrown hairs, which is why uh, it's, and just exfoliate in general. It's a great brush for that purpose. So I always tell people, um, you know, boar hair is, is wonderfully purposeful. And honestly, boar hair is more the traditional brush for barbershops and stuff because it makes leather so quickly and they're inexpensive. So that's all I got for today's video. Please leave a comment. What do you prefer, badger, boar, something else, synthetic, horse? Maybe we can shoot them out next time. Um, Leave a comment and you're entered into win this, the Razor Emporium official black and blue t-shirt. Thanks for checking out our channel today. Uh, please subscribe, share the video with all of your friends, and we'll see you next time at Razor Emporium for all things vintage shaving. Thanks, guys.